My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Uh, Kevin, because uh, there's still quite a bit of s tilt back as you strike the ball. Tilt back meaning your right shoulder goes down, your left shoulder goes up. Um, and I want to get more what we call on top of the ball. So your backswing, you move to the right a little bit. Pretty good full shoulder turn. Your head's moving to the right. But now it, there's this crucial point where there's got to be some push off. So you've got to push against the ground to generate some lateral movement in your lower body. Um, you don't get a whole lot of lateral movement, but you get enough. But here's the thing. Your head's starting to back up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is why you're hitting them thin. So we've got to keep your head over top of the ball. And so the reason you, you tilt back is because your chest starts to tilt. So your left shoulder is going up a little bit and your right shoulder is going down a little or, too. When I take it back? Or no, on the downswing. So on the downswing, you're tilting... And I want you to feel like you're just turning a little more over the ball. So when you your left shoulder goes up too much, that pushes your head back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I want you to feel like your left shoulder is going back more and not up. So essentially, what I want you to think of, this is a good way to think about it. From the top of your swing, if you were going to throw something with your right hand, mm -hmm. what would you do to throw? Your chest would rotate. Your legs would shift right. So your right side would come through the ball. Your right shoulder would move down and forward more significantly. And so look where your right shoulder is here. It's way back behind the ball. So as you're hitting the ball, your right shoulder needs to be over top of the ball more. And, the, and so the way to get there is you've got to feel like you're unwinding, but you're also moving that right shoulder toward the target. It's not really. So that's what you're. Is that what you're thinking yeah. about? Think about. Think of a throwing action. Right. Your chest is turning when you throw. Everything's rotating. Right. Um, yeah. So what I want to see a little more of is is this. And we'll try to get you on top of the ball a bit more, so your head stays literally on top of the ball. So he's going to turn back. He stays on top of the ball on the backswing. Now you move to the right a little bit. But you have a nice shoulder turn and good good extension. But then, as you start down, you do get some shift, but it's not a lot. And your upper body starts to lean back and tilt back. 
whereas he's going to get some lateral movement with his pelvis and he's staying over the ball staying over it staying over it his head goes back a little bit but the right shoulder is over that ball a little more and that's really what I want to do is I want to get you to stay over the ball by getting your shoulders to rotate and tilt less and, uh, and that'll get rid of the thin shot so by the end of today my goal is to keep your head inside that circle now with the driver you can get away with a little bit of tilt back in fact there's a lot of guys that do that with the driver but I don't want you to do that with with your uh, your iron shots so it looks like I I'm on the right plane here I'm not standing no up, you're not right? coming up no no you're you're you're, so you're it's not more that I'm moving back yeah so. you're just tilting back so I'm we call it hanging back or too much side bend you know your upper body's hanging back which is pretty been pretty typical of what you've done right. when you've hit it poorly well when you're hitting it good and you're compressing the ball and you're hitting it you know where you're taking a divot you're you're staying more on top of the ball alright so the feeling is I want you to really feel like you're turning that right shoulder through the ball more turning your chest through the ball.